Um, first off, I feel like somebody is running away from their feelings. And uh, I see this energy coming through kind of uh, from the partner's end, okay? Somebody who is like very afraid of either commitment, they're very afraid of um, making themselves vulnerable. They're really afraid to open up and feel the emotion. So it's like it, it's somebody who is either emotionally blocked. They have been for quite some time. They have been hurt in the past. Uh, they're very career um professionally oriented and focused and so they never really made time to you know uh, explore intimacy explore relationships and explore love and it can be really difficult to um, to deal with somebody like that where you want to you know give them so much of yourself so much of your love and so much of your emotions but they're just resisting and I feel like they're resisting because not because they don't trust it but because it leaves them vulnerable and it leaves them in a space where they can feel really um, uncomfortable. So what you're bringing to the table here, I have the Ace of uh, Cups. This is a really, really lovely card. And the Ace of Cups is basically having a lot of love to give to another person, having a really, really big crush on another person. And I also feel for singles, this is a card about you exuding a very, very lighthearted, uh, loving, caring, tender energy. And you're able to magnetize a lot of people towards you. You're able to draw them in and you're able to kind of like attract the object of your affection. And I also feel in the center of the spread, we have here the Nine of Cups. Having a lot of offers, having a lot of suitors, having a lot of attention from other people, which will, you know, obviously really, really boost your ego. But at the same time, it signifies that um, whatever you're sending out to the universe, whatever your intentions are, whatever is in your heart, that's what you're getting in return. Okay, you're getting people who are honest and sincere. You're getting people who are attracted to you, who want to be around you, who want to get to know you, and who really, really want to build something solid and, and stable with you. So this is a wish card, and it denotes to me feelings that are sent out, energies that are sent out, being kind of um, when, um, being returned to you tenfold. Okay, and so we have here. You start out with the Ace of Cups and we end up with the Nine of Cups, which signifies to me wish like um, wish fulfillment on the emotional realm. Somebody is going to make you feel really, really good. And the first person that I have here is the King of Cups. But let me talk about this first. We have here the Seven of Wands, having to fight back suitors, having to fend off people, having a lot of people kind of like... Um, uh, sending messages your way, sending offers your way, um, gunning for you, I would say. You're kind of like inundated with a lot of options and a lot of choices. And they're coming at you very, very, very fast. Okay, very fast. And so you have options to choose from. And the person that really stands out, we have here the King of Cups. This is a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is somebody who is very, very emotionally stable. And I feel like, you know, he or she has had their fair share of um, hardships in life. And um, I feel like they've overcome a lot to be so emotionally stable. They, they've overcome a lot. It, it takes a lot of really strong resilience and, and, you know, insights and strength of character to overcome a lot in life, to be in a position where... Um, people might not agree with them, but they stuck to their guns. So I'm, I'm feeling a, a very strong Scorpio vibe um, and ca Cancerian as well. You know, so despite all opposition, they stuck to their guns. They listened to their hunches. They, they, they stuck by their heart. You know, they um, follow their heart. And because of that, I feel like you're dealing with someone who is very emotionally, very grounded, very stable, very mature. And they don't mess around when it comes to love. So you have an offer that's on the table for you from this person. And this might also be the person that you're feeling very strongly attracted to.
because you really admire them okay so you guys are the uh, the suit of wands this is the suit of water so it's a very strong opposites attract type of energy mainly because the other person complements you in a way that no one else can they bring the heart and the soul and the softness to the relationship whereas you bring the passion the vitality the drive and the ambition and the physical energy to move the relationship along so i feel like this is a very strong dynamic duel that can be the beginning of a really beautiful successful relationship where two people are learning a lot from one another and two people complement each other very well for those of you in solid stable relationships I feel that this is a major escalation, a, a declaration of love coming through from a partner. Someone who is very reliable, who is very deeply in love with you. And I feel like, you know, their energy is soft, caring, and just, um, um, I, I'm getting an imagery here of a tulip. How, um, it, it's, it, it pokes through the ground. So it, it lays dormant in its bulb throughout the winter season and then in the springtime you know after the earth has thawed it peaks out and it begins anew so i feel like this is a love that's very very undying okay so you might have been together with a significant partner for a really long time but the love has never uh, wavered they they always know how they feel about you and they don't change they don't change their love can be trusted, it's enduring, it has uh, withstand the test of time, and I feel like it's just um, a really, really beautiful, pure, sincere love, and they love you on a soul level, they love you as a person that you are. Um, the others of you, I feel like you're making a gesture to a person, and they're so afraid of intimacy, they're so afraid of... Um, exclusivity they're so afraid to be vulnerable that they're they're running away not like you know I love you and then the other person slams the door and you know drives away but I feel like they're very evasive and they feel almost like a, a monogamous exclusive relationship will prevent them from enjoying all that life has to offer and I also feel like you're dealing with someone who's used to um, dealing with more superficial relationships and in a way the intensity of your love is really scary to them they really like you they're very attracted to you they really care about you so that's not really the issue it's just they're scared of commitment they're scared of the emotions they're scared of the intensity of your passion and they might even be feeling very unsettled by the physical desire that they have towards you so i do see an element here about somebody running away they might have ran away in the future oh, i'm sorry in the past <laughs> they might have ran away in the past and then you might have pursued other opportunities and now that there's another person that's giving you you know that's matching the intensity of your love the other person is coming around and and they're like i want you back i, I need to have you back so some of you might have two people that you are potentially choosing from. Um, so I feel like somebody is really scared of the emotions and they ran away because they weren't ready to accept all that you had to give. And now that you're coupled up or about to be coupled up with somebody else, they're making a comeback in your life. And so you got to weigh things out, okay? I feel like the new person is able to give, to match you. And, and it, it seems to me like they're a lot more... Um, they're a lot more in alignment with you and they're a lot more able to give you the love and the nurturing and the reciprocity that you're looking for. Excuse me, I was drinking some water. Okay, um, other areas of your life. Um, I feel, well, we have a definite air sign here, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And I feel like this person is waiting on some type of communication from you, okay? Um, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I feel like they reached out with an invitation. And I feel like they're waiting around like, 
What's going on? When is the Leo person going to respond to me? When are we going to meet up? I know they're busy, but they should at least respond. So they're kind of uh, sitting around, um, not so much sulking or moping, but like um, clearing out their schedule for you, making sure that they have some time. If you choose to connect with them and, and to respond, I feel like um, they have some things that they want to ask you. They have some things that they might need your advice on. They might have some things that they just want to share with you. And I feel that it is important to reach out to this person. I feel a very strong colleague, friendship, family vibe. Not so much romance, okay? But I, I feel like that can also play out in the romantic sector. But this part exclusively, I feel like they have some technical information that they want to share with you. Logistical information is what I'm sensing. And then they, they have some things that they need to kind of pick your brains on. And they want to catch up. So I feel like with the world card, you've been very, very busy traveling. You've been very busy taking care of yourself. This is usually maintenance, you know. I usually think of it as the face of a clock. Do maintenance so that all the cogs are, are running. So that the, the, the lubricants inside the machine aren't all gunky and, and clogged up. And everything is flowing smoothly. So I feel like you've had a lot to do when it comes to traveling for either work for school, for, um, for work projects, for whatever reason. You've been in and out, darting in and out of the picture. And you've been very, very busy. And they're respectful of that. And they're going to be patiently waiting for some type of contact and communication. And so respond, reconnect, because this is going to be... Um, it, it's almost like an opportune moment for the two of you to share some things, to catch up to kind of update one another on what you've been up to, okay? And then I'm also feeling as well, uh, you have some friends, um, some people that you consider colleagues or friends that are showing a tremendous amount of uh, interest in you. I also see here um, consulting somebody when it comes to getting pregnant, okay? So um, like um, IVF, um, in vitro fertilization for some of you looking at alternative methods for um, for bringing a child into the world. Um, so there could also be talks about, you know, international adoption. You're consulting a lawyer. You're consulting somebody that has already been through that process. Um, I also see travel plans being arranged between you and, and another person. And I also feel like you need some advice as to, you know, visas, applications, uh, work um, visas even. So there are a lot of things happening in your life right now. And I feel like somebody can, can um, like a friend or a colleague can come in and provide a lot of clarity for you. So, you know, try to check through your phones and see who's been reaching out. And I feel like they're coming in with some really much needed information that can really benefit you. So reach out to the person and reach out and, you know, make sure that um, your text messages are responded to, okay? Um, I definitely feel like friends that uh, you thought were, you know, only interested in you platonically are showing huge interest in you. And I feel like, you know, um, this is because you exude a lot of lovely, beautiful, happy energy, just really good vibes. And so you're attracting a lot of people and, and you're attracting overall a lot of declarations of love from people and from unlikely sources or from people that you thought would never, never harbor feelings for you. So a week where secret crushes are coming to light, they're coming out of the woodwork to really let you know how, how they feel as well as exes coming back into the picture. 